everybody welcome back Ruben aka Funk Soul Brother Texas All Water Fishing today I am out here Christmas Bay came out to fish the area find a little deeper water it's very foggy as you can see uh, but I have my 360 light and I have a couple of the flashlights on my kayak as well in case I hear a boat I'm just kind of shining in their direction where I, the sound is coming from just to let them know I'm out here but other than that wish me luck thanks for coming back hopefully you catch me hooking up oh no he came off when I reached for my dang net oh man that stinks I'm gonna put my net right here oh that stinks I saw some disturbance over there and uh, right on the water surface and I thought maybe it was a uh, a red or a speck and um, you know it felt like a speck maybe I hook up to him again there we go got him again oh stay with me Yeah, he looks a little undersized. Probably got too little, a little too happy breaking the board out, but we'll see. No, he is 15 and a half. 15 and a half in spec. Got him on a DSL. There we go. It's this color, not too sure what it is. Picked it off, picked it up from my boy Billy Ray. There it goes. I love the release. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than, to me, than releasing a fish. Looks like there's a little slick right here. Saw another little bait mean chase, but looks like there's a little slick right here. The water is almost 67 degrees, and it's probably about 7 o'clock in the morning. So, a little after 7. You know, we had a pretty warm day yesterday. I think got it to about 80. So, despite this fog... Which, you know, fog doesn't bother me. I actually I actually like it. But despite the fog, um, it's really nice. There we go. It's be a nice day. About the same size, I think. Same size, give or take, you know, it doesn't be a slot. I always like to know. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you like me measuring them or not and showing them, but I always like to know. When I'm watching videos, I like to know how big that fish is. Yeah. It's gonna be 15 and a quarter, maybe almost 15 and a half. Same bait, you know. Well, he was a little rude with that, huh? Oh, man. Dang it. <laughs> ah! I think that was a uh, flounder. He didn't hit like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a flounder, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Kind of felt like it. Specs on the mine. So, I kind of tried to set my hook like it was a spec, but I think it was a... Uh, I think it was a flounder because he really never had it. I thought he was swimming with it and it was just sitting still. I think he just had it in his mouth. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. Sometimes you get lucky and you, if you uh, can find where he's at. Like that, like that, like that. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, you're fishing for a... It happens to me all the time. Fish for a flounder, I catch a speck. I sp fish for a speck, I catch a flounder. If I'm bouncing it off the bottom, in that case, I was bouncing it off the bottom. I think maybe they were a little deeper because it's about five feet right here. Four and a half feet right here. Yeah. Fifteen and three quarters. I thought it felt a little bigger than the last one. Beautiful speck. I'm going to... 
let him swim on. Oh man! I think I had him twice and he freaking let go. I had him twice and let go. Let me see if I can get him a bite again. A lot of times you can, you can get him a bite again. He's somewhere back there. There it goes. Oh, he didn't do it again. Did the same thing again. He just like, bop, 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 bop. nip, 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 nip. He's going nuts on it. I thought he was on for sure. There we go. Oh, he's a little guy. How are you bigger than that, bud? <laughs> That's okay, though. It's okay. I'll take it. Yeah, he's probably going to be like 12, 12 inches or so. Let's check just for fun. No, he is a keeper. He is 14 and a quarter. Surprised. That's what I wanted, though. Nice little flounder. We'll let you go, buddy. Good trout, I think. Yep. <laughs> yeah, eight feet water. About 66 degrees. I'm trolling this line behind me too. So uh, I am drifting, and uh, uh, drift fishing. So I'm gonna come over here to this to the side over here and see if I can. Uh, it's 10 feet right here where I caught him, so I can bank up. This is what I was wanting. Whoo, all day. All day. I say all day, but it's really only been like three hours. But still. That's what I've been what I've been wanting to hook up to. Let's see where he's gonna be at. Yeah, it looks super slimy. Twenty one and a quarter. Sorry, twenty and a quarter. Not twenty one and a quarter. Twenty and a quarter. Right there, yellow mouth guy, Mr. Slime guy, my friend. Gonna get that out of you. Let's get that out of you. DSL, not too sure color what that is. All right, let's take a look at this guy one more time. Let him go. Nice 20 inch speckled trout. Oh my goodness. How slimy words was that guy? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that guy is like, I am just like super slimy. Alright, man, that is that is good. That is number four. One more, and I have caught my limit on specs. But um, obviously we're not keeping any fish today. We just had a um, we just had a small window. Make it a quick day out here. I say quick day, but that's quick day for me is typically about five or six hours. <clears throat> Oh, he got off. Ah! Dang it. That would have been uh, number five. <laughs> he felt he felt good. It felt like a slot. Um, yeah, so he got off. Okay, now that's going to do it for me today. 
you know, I just had a great time out here. It kind of took it easy. First trip of the year for me in the kayak. I did end up, however, with four specks, one really nice one, and also caught a slot flounder. But if you like what you saw today, please feel free to subscribe, hit that bell notification, let you know next time I upload a video. Until next time, hopefully you catch me. Thanks.